Hello everyone, today we're talking about PGP and Keybase and what you can do to protect your files before a hacker gets to them. This is PGP. PGP stands for pretty good privacy and rightfully so and it's, it's pretty darn good privacy if you, if you ask most people you will understand how it works. Uh, it just is used to encrypt messages and files on your computer um, to be sent to another user with a key pair. So I have my set of keys, you have your set of keys, one of your keys is public I can take your public key and I can encrypt a file or message with your public key and then only you can unlock it with your private key. I can't see what I wrote, no one else to what you wrote, it's very nice and easy and very secure. Uh, this can also be used for signing files to verify that this is, uh, or, or message, to verify that this is actually from the person who says it is from. This is used a lot when you download programs online, especially like copies of Linux or very um, that need the extra security. You need to know that it is the exact copy of which of what is intended to be received. PHP uses a combination of uh, hashing, data compression, symmetric key cryptography, and public key crypto crypto cryptography. Hard to say. Wow. Uh, we had talked about cryptography and hashing in the past. Check out episode nine of the podcast. It's on there. It should be archived on whatever video site you're watching this on. If it's not, please let me know and I will upload it for you. Public keys are connected to a name or email address. Uh, in most cases, both. Uh, in the sense of mine, you can search me by name and email. You'll find my public keys. I got two. I only use one of them. Um, you can find these online using a database. Uh, one a big, a famous one is the MIT PGP server. Uh, you can go on there. You can search and verify uh, fingerprints and keys, stuff like that. Um, Keybase takes this idea. This is another web, web, web of trust. When I verify that you are who you say you are, I can verify it inside PGP and uh, Keybase makes this, e makes this a little bit more streamlined using social media, which we'll get into here in a second. We have open PGP as well. So this is, this is PGP right here. This is a paid for program. You have to pay for this where uh, if you want the free version, the, the guy who made PGP was like, oh, hey, I should probably make this open source too. So he made an open source version known as open PGP. The guy who created this and PGP, his name is Phil Zimmerman. Uh, he made this version because he knew that this would impact on the cryptography world and he wanted to make sure everyone had access to it in some form. Here's the free version. It's open source PGP, hence open PGP. And then we have GPG, the GNU Privacy Guard. Um, as it says here, this is a completely free implementation of open PGP as defined by some standards known as PGP. So what it's saying is like this is a free and open source version that complies with the the GPL, the GNU public licensing. No big deal. It's it's uh, available for Linux. If you have Linux, you'll you'll mostly it comes with GPG, and this is what I use in my in most. My, I'm not signing things with Keybase online. Like if I'm, if I'm like at work or something, I'm using a work computer. From my home, I sign it with GPG because this was by default uh, on my computer. You can see here you can get it for Windows, OS X, Debian. It's also on Android. Get the framework for GPG framework, the Guardian project, uh, VMS, and RC, uh, RISCOS. So it's, uh, it's very versatile. It's, it's on every platform that you could possibly want to be on. So the question is, which one do you use? It doesn't really matter if you like if you have if you have access to PGP, you can use that. Uh, but Open PGP and G, uh, GNU uh, Privacy Guard or GPG, they all work in tandem. They're all intercompatible. So you can if you use PGP to make your key. And you can export it and put it into your GPG keyring, your open PGP keyring. It's all basically the same. It's just how it's licensed, which is nice. So that gets us into Keybase. This is Keybase. Keybase is cool because it takes this cryptography, this PGP, they use open PGP, um, and they make it a little bit more easily to, easy to use because there is a kind of a high threshold, a high barrier to entry with cryptography because it's a little bit hard to do and been thought of as like that has to be how it is because if it wasn't that way it would be as secure but keybase is taking that and making it a little bit more easy to use which is really nice and what keybase does is when you first sign up it'll it'll create your keys you have you can't sign up online you have to sign up on a computer you download the app here as you can see either on the phone or on the, the uh computer i think it's a use, use a computer first but it will tell you when you sign up there's like a You'll follow through some guide, um, and then you'll set up your private keys, and it'll all sync up with their with their database and all that all that jazz. And then you can log into into the actual website, like I'm on here, and you can actually do things on the website as long as your private keys are uh, 
in their database. You can export your private keys in their database so they're not on there if you're worried about, you know, what if they get hacked and then someone has my key pair. That's a legitimate concern and, uh, I, and I understand the concern for that. Um, some people are concerned about the, the golden key as, as talked about um, in an old blog post they made saying that, you know, when the government governments were saying we should have access to, we should have a key that unlocks all keys to see what people are talking about using these encryptions. That's the dangerous slope. They be, they don't they don't believe in that, and it's very clear in a blog post they made a couple of years ago uh, that, that they're that they're completely against it. Whether they have it or not, we can't tell. So uh, do keep that in mind. But I've been using this for maybe I don't know a year. So once you have your keys, you can export them. You can put them into your phone if you would like. Um, you don't have to. But what is actually really cool about Keybase is that you can, if your keys are in their database, you can actually do things online. So I can actually encrypt a message. So I put in the recipient's name. We'll use my name. Now you put a message in. You can do this, but you can also do this all on your computer as well. And you can decrypt messages. You can you can sign and verify messages, but you can't do this with files. This is why I exported my public keys, my key pair to my computer and to my phone, so that uh, my phone using open key pair, uh, keychain, so that I can encrypt actual files with my key pair as well. It's something you can think about, but if you're a if you're not a very technologically um, literate, I guess, or if you want to keep it simple, you can do this and you can you can encrypt messages, so you can have your messages uh, private for if someone has a key, which is nice. Uh, another big thing is that Keybase actually has a social media like aspect to it. As you can see here, this is my profile. These are all the sites I say, this is my site. I, I use Keybase to verify that I own this Twitter account. For Twitter, you would tweet um, a, a certain string of text and it would verify that the person that you say you are on Keybase is the same person you say you are on Twitter and also like Facebook and uh, GitHub and Reddit and Hacker News and, and a website of your choice. You guys have many, many websites that you want, a Bitcoin address, a, a, a Zcash address. See all your devices, and right here is your is your uh, your key, uh, your key fingerprint. So if you click key pair, um, you can see this is my public key. This is okay for people to see this because that's what you want people to see to use it and grab it and all that jazz. Here you have the uh, command line interface commands. If you're using key based command line, you can do this. Uh, you can pull my my public my public key, and you can encrypt things. Send them to me. Very nice. This is the fingerprints uh, up here. That you can use to find that you will. This is the same fingerprint you'll find on the MIT database. If you go to edit, this is where you can update your key if you want to change it or you edit somewhere else. You can revoke the public key so that no one can use it. You can delete the keys from Keybase and you can export the keys from Keybase. I exported my keys. I didn't delete them off of Keybase database because sometimes I need to use their functionality whenever I'm away from my actual computer. So that's Keybase. That's how you keep your, your files and your stuff private. If you have any questions, please comment below and ask. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Check out my Patreon page, uh, patreon.com slash jrswab if you would like to support. There's a bunch of links below for affiliate things if you're interested in checking those out and helping out without any extra cost to you. It'd be super, super great. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you got some value out of this and I'll see you next time. That's really hard to say. Edit and export these. Script blocked.